What up, everyone? Um, just a bit of a recap on the day today. Um, I know I haven't put any like dailies kind of videos up. I'm up to number six, so this will be number six. But today was a freaking awesome day. I had such an epic day, nice sleep in. Spent most of the day down the Gold Coast today. Met up with a couple of friends and then bought that gym equipment, which you, if you followed me on Snapchat, you would have seen me setting that up. Um, let's go to that now. Bit of footage from the gym equipment. Just got back from the Gold Coast, visiting a mate, and I scored some gym equipment. Hard to tell, but a fair bit of crap up in there. But let me set it all up and show you what I got. For 300 bucks, including petrol to travel there. And we're back. Pretty much two little labs all night, had a feed for drive and set up that gym equipment. And this is it set up. All right, fam, here we are. Got this bike thing, which also turns into a rowing machine, but it's got like broken rubbers on it, so probably never ever use that. Probably actually flog it off on Gumtree or chuck it in the bin this week. Got a tiny little boxing bag that I could like hang from up here or something. Bit of kick and a punch, something like that. Got this first bench here. It's actually a way sturdy, comfy bench. Pretty sick, so it'll be good for like doing some shoulders or some line front ways on it, doing some back, some kind of rows, some delt work, or just bicep curls, whatever. Um, but definitely, guys, so many videos to come working out right here. Look how much I'm sweating just from setting this up. And it's like freezing cold outside, so it's night time pretty much. Uh, anyway, then we got an easy curl bar right here. That'll be epic. And we've got 150 kilos or like 300 plus pounds of weight. Got a couple little dumbbell bars there that I can load up. We've got a leg extension and hamstring kind of kickbacks there, which sit into the end of this bench. We've also got the preacher adaption um, to be able to do some bicep curls and stuff. Oh, lots out, one sec, that's better. And then we got this bench here, which can be like adjustable like normal, most benches. And then we got this rack here, you can set it up anywhere. You can pull it all, slide it all the way together with that red beam part there. So it's real close. And on the back here, you've got a handle here and another handle there. You can do dips on it when they're closer together. Um, otherwise, it's just like you can use it for doing bench press, um, incline, how it's set up now, do some flat bench, or you can raise these right up so the weight's sitting like further up here and then use it for squats and stuff, which is also epic. So it's ghetto. It's definitely ghetto. It only costs a couple hundred bucks. So can't expect the world. It's gonna get me started again um, on doing some workouts, plus that old thing from two years back. And it's gonna help me get in the shape, guys. So I'm pretty pumped. Um, super stoked. Shout out to Zeke Cooper for hooking us up with all this gear. Um, at a good price. Future workouts, as soon as this comes off in two more days, getting that strength back and follow me on the fitness journey. Help me lose the weight or lose the fat. Who cares what happens with the weight? I don't care if I weigh 200 kilos, as long as I'm lean and shredded. Um, but yeah, join me for those who are interested. Keep, stay tuned. Plenty more workout tips and videos to come from home. Um, if you can go on like Craigslist in America, Gumtree in Australia, pick up some cheap workout gear like this, then you'll be laughing. And then I had a tiny workout just to test it out. Did a couple sets on bench, even with this on. It's hard to hold like the, um, the bar doesn't really rest in there at all, but oh. So that was fun. Day ended up being pretty good, but I just put the camera on because I want to show you, you guys this. Oh, and I trim my beard. How do I look? Trim the sides here. I want to grow it out long here like a wizard, but makes my face look slimmer and longer. Just sick. Look at this though. Like I told you guys I had a bad week last week, but this week's been pretty good so far. I've eaten a lot of healthy meals. You know, suss this. 125.5. Holy crap, guys. That's one kilo more than when I started two weeks ago. That is sad. So in two weeks of trying to lose 
really late, I've gained a kilo. I think it's just because it's the end of the day. We all know that we weigh less in the morning, so I'll check in tomorrow morning, being Thursday, Thursday the 16th. We'll check in then in the morning and see what I weigh. Hopefully I'll weigh like 122 again. Uh, that's three kilos, no way that's gone. Sleep. All right, anyway, love you guys. Thanks so much for the support. Thanks a mass ton for all the love on this latest paid video. Um, I know a lot of people hate it. Like I lost 20 subscribers in a few hours from posting the paid video yesterday. But for those, I mean, I get so many emails, people loving it, giving me support and Thank you so much for that. I try to write back to most of you guys. It's hard to write back to everyone all the time and I get a lot of Snapchats and stuff, which is awesome. I love getting snaps from you guys. Please keep them coming. I'll try and respond to everyone. Yeah, I got so many emails though, like just people loving it. I don't care that I lost a lot of subscribers. To be honest, with the transformation that I want to do over the next like seven, eight months, I'm planning to lose a lot of subscribers. I know a lot of you out there Love the fat simo, love the belly, love the big man titties. But that's that's not what I want. And thanks to those that support what I want. I love you for that. But stay tuned, I mean, I'm trying to lose weight and I just gained a kilo. Just gained 2.2 pounds. Who knows what's gonna happen. But just so keep watching me guys. Uh, I'll keep entertaining you. And we'll see where everything goes. But again, thank you so much for the support on the last video. A lot of you know that have been watching me for the last year that my mum passed away in December. That was, I'm a mama's boy and that was real rough for me. Like, I struggled with that for, I mean, I'm still struggling with that. I still look at photos every day. I still watch videos that have a mum in them. Like, I'll miss her so bad, guys. But we need to move on. And I'm doing my best, I'm trying my best, but I still think about it all, all the time. But what I wanted to say is that it's been tough for me to work. I haven't, I quit my job once she, when she died because I just wasn't in the mood to work. And I haven't really worked since. So by me making these paid videos, just for like a dollar or every country's different, like they have a certain minimum. By me doing that, it helps me live at the moment. So I'm so appreciative to those who aren't complaining, those who are loving it, and those who are following along. Um, it's really helped me get through this part, this year of my life, which is probably being the worst year, the worst year ever so far. So yeah, that's us for today. Dailies. Number six. I need new lens, guys. I need a lens that isn't so close up. This is my arm fully stretched out and it looks like I'm holding the camera right in my face still. So anyone that knows anything about cameras and lenses, let me know the best like wide angle, far away lens to get for a Canon. I got a Canon 70D. But yeah, love you guys. Thanks for support. I'll see you later in the week. Keep sharing the love. If you got friends that think they could benefit from my videos, please share it and I'll see you guys in a day or two.